What's up guys, I'm back once again to show you some of the hot mods of the week. And in this week's episode, we have a bunch of brand new mods, including a few new sound mods to make your game sound a little bit different. But to kick things off, we have Capital Wasteland Dogmeat, and you can find this brand new companion at the Jailbird Brothers Disposal Grounds, and this site will be so familiar to anybody that's ever taken Dogmeat as a companion. Hey boy! What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? <laughs> okay then. Let's stick together. Now, I can't speak for everybody, but the main reason why I take dog meat is because he acts as a mule, doesn't judge you for your actions, and the main reason being, you can still have access to the Lone Wanderer perk. As you can see here, I have four ranks of Lone Wanderer, and a carry capacity of 1580 pounds and if i dismiss this new dog meat my carry weight doesn't change meaning that this new dog meat doesn't take away the lone wanderer perk and giving this new companion an instant plus in my book now as for damage output of this new companion it's more reminiscent of dog meat himself as it's not particularly high but again that's not the point if you wanted a companion to do insanely high amounts of damage we could just take a humanoid one and give them a Gatling gun. So, if you're a fan of dog meat as a companion, but want to experience something a bit more new, then maybe this mod is worth a download. Now, the beauty of modding Fallout 4 is that if you get bored with the vanilla weapons, you can always download a weapon mod, but what if you wanted to experience the vanilla weapons in a slightly different way? And with these next few mods, we're going to be doing just that, by overhauling the sound that they make. And kicking things off is 44 action power, and what this mod is going to do is take the 44 revolver and make it sound like a hybrid between the Half-Life 1 for the shot and the .357 for VATS. And this is what that's going to sound like. Now this is not the only sound replacer mod that we're going to take a look at. We also have power lever action and what this mod is going to do is take the lever action rifle and make it sound a bit more powerful and this is what that's going to sound like. Now the next sound replacer mod that I have for you is Powered Double Barrel and of course what this mod is going to do is replace the vanilla double barrel shotgun sound with something a bit more powerful and this is what that's going to sound like. And finally, the last sound replacer mod I have for you is Power Combat Shotgun. And of course, what this mod is going to do is replace the vanilla sound of the combat shotgun with something a bit more powerful, including both unsilenced and silenced. And this is what that's going to sound like. But anyway, I think we've spent enough time listening to guns being fired, let's move on to the next mod. Now for this next mod, we have something that we don't look at too often. We have a quest mod, but not just any quest mod, we have old time religion. And to begin this mod, simply head west of the wicked shipping yard, and you'll meet a fella called Eli. 
Howdy, Scabber. Been looking for some help around these parts. You're the answer to my prayers. Now Eli is going to tell you about an old general that used to work for the NCR. A preacher that used to use something called the good book to abuse women and force men to work long shifts without pay. Now one thing you need to know about Eli is he really likes to talk, but that is not a bad thing as his voice acting is absolutely amazing. But I can't do it alone. From word of mouth around the commonwealth, the last known book might be in that old forgotten church in the glowing sea. Had to cross that hell hole to get here. Ain't no way I'm going back though, cause where God ain't, I don't want to be. So we have our objective, locate the book in the glowing sea. But this mod is not your simple fetch quest. In fact, even after locating the church in question, the door was locked. Can't pick this. But after reading a note, this is where the story gets interesting, as it's going to take us on a wild adventure all around the commonwealth, from swimming through an ocean, Meeting this new NPC. <clears throat> Greetings, Wastelander. And diving into what seems to be my character's subconscious. Now, I don't want to spoil any more of this mod, but between the fully voiced NPCs, the brand new weapon and armor, the new player home in the glowing sea, and the new companion, this is one of the most interesting and ambitious quest mods that I've seen for a very long time. And, of course, this week's weapon mod is the Pulse Rifle and you can acquire this weapon via console by typing in help pulse for weap here you'll find the weapons id code and then by typing player.addItem and the weapons id code you'll get your hands on the pulse rifle and in terms of upgrades you have the choice of 37 capacitors 22 barrels 16 stocks 51 sights and finally, 10 muzzles. Now despite having all of these upgrades, most of them don't actually work, so I would stick to the standard laser weapon upgrades for this mod. Now when using most weapons, you generally try to hit enemies with the projectiles, but think of this weapon as a sort of grenade launcher. You want to aim for where the enemies are going to be, so that when the grenades go off, you don't just miss the enemies, which is not the easiest thing to do with such a small magazine. But with enough practice, it's not the hardest thing in the world to get used to. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for this mod, and the video for that matter. I hope you all enjoyed the mods here today, and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all in the next video.